Hi everyone, my name's Maria and for today's Tuesday Shelf Read, I'll be talking about Boy Swallows Universe. Uh, this came out last year to much acclaim and the author is Trent Dalton. Trent Dalton is an award-winning journalist and this is his first novel. Um, we have this in various formats. We've got it in paperback, large print. You can also download it as an e-book or an e-audio. It falls roughly into the category of contemporary Australian fiction. So the story starts and it's set in a Brisbane suburb in the 1980s. Um, it's a suburb where uh, unemployment is high and drug abuse is all too common. And in this suburb lives Eli Bell. And Eli Bell is a 13-year-old boy. He's the principal character and narrator of the story. And he lives with his brother August, his mum and his stepdad Lyle. Now, despite both parents having beaten drug addictions, they're still very much involved in the criminal element that runs deep in this suburb. Now, this book is kind of, I guess, a boys and adventure, albeit a rather grim one at times. Um, but ever present is Eli's love for his family, his brother, his parents, his sometime babysitter Slim, an old ex-con with a gritty, hard-won wisdom. But having said all that, there's a wry humour here, and despite the boys, the tenor of the book is always the glass half full. And this is because the boys, despite their street smarts and their traumatic history, have a kind of unsullied, lyrical take on the world and a blinkered vision that sees them always, no matter what, focused on family. The boys um, always come out of their experiences bloody but never bowed because their focus, as I said, is always on family. Now this book, it's not autobiographical, but the author freely admits there's aspects of his own childhood that informed part of the story. And in the afterward, he um, pays homage to his mum. He has huge admiration and respect for the trials and tribulations she had to overcome in her own life. And in fact, the book is a love story, but not of the white picket fence variety. Now, I'm a bit ambivalent about the ending here, but having said that, um, this book has garnered huge praise here and overseas. It's won numerous awards. Um, and if you do decide to read it, there's a lot to take away from this story, not least because of the huge power and the very unique voice of a 13-year-old boy for whom family is everything. So thank you for watching today, and we'll be back again next week for another Tuesday Shelf Read.